Hopefully we are all aware that in maths, as with other things in life, one size doesn't fit all. And although it's difficult for those of you who can learn or remember their tables to understand the need for alternatives, some learners will find alternatives help them to progress. In some cases, even further than those of you who can learn and remember your tables. The method I'm going to run through in this clip is one that many people know, but I'm sharing it because I hope it will be of help to those of you looking for ways to cope with, in this case, the nine times table. As the image suggests here, it involves both hands, palms up. The first thing to remember is that, like reading, we're going to count our fingers and thumbs from left to right, so starting with the thumb on the left as one and counting each finger in turn, we end up with the thumb on the right as ten. No surprises there. The first step to multiplying by nine is to bend over the finger that you're multiplying by. For example, if we want to calculate six times nine, we bend over the sixth finger as shown here. For the second step, all the fingers and thumbs on the left of the finger that we've just bent over are counted as tens. So we have 50. And the third step, we count the fingers and thumbs on the right of the finger that we bent over and they're counted as units. So we have four. So if you add those two together, we have the answer of six times nine equals 54. The three steps are bend over the finger you're multiplying by, the um, finger and thumbs to the left of that bent over finger are tens and the fingers and thumbs to the right of the bent over finger are units. Let's do another one. Let's do eight times nine. Obviously you bend over finger number eight this time. Uh, the fingers and thumbs on the left are tens, fingers and thumbs on the right are units. So as you can see from the photograph above, 8 times 9 is 72. It's as easy as that. It's your turn now, over to you. Each time you see a new multiplication at the top of the screen, pause the video clip, work out the answer on your own, and when you've worked it out, press play again, and I'll run through the answer. Here we go. Pause the video. Okay, let's see if you were correct. Four times nine is 36. The question is, did you get it right? Well done if you did. If you didn't, don't give up. You can watch this clip as many times as you want and there'll be no stopping you once you've got your head round it. Remember, each time there's a new multiplication, pause the clip, work out the answer and restart to see how you have done. Pause the video. Okay, let's see if you were correct. 7 times 9 is 63. 6 to the left, 3 to the right, 63. Pause if you want to look at it more closely or go on to the next. Pause the video. Okay, let's see if you were correct. 3 times 9 is 27. 2 to the left of the finger bent over and 7 to the right. That leaves us with 5 questions that we haven't looked at. When you pause the clip to work out the answers and then restart to see if you got the answers correct. Pause the clip now. If you didn't pause quick enough, the pictures show the fingers that are bent down to calculate the answers. Once you've worked out the answers, carry on to see if you're right. I hope you've got them all correct. If not, play the video again. In fact, as often as you need to get your head around the method. That's all from me, John DL, for this Functional Skills Clip.
für Mars.